pushing and pushing. She's got the boyfriend holding one leg, the husband holding the other. When the patient Betty passed away, he was a DNR, and I was just... And when we took her, we found two hot pockets under her right cheek. And like, yeah, so they see the travel nurse. She's hooking up with Dr. Rock, and he's married, isn't he, with two kids? I'm do a shot on you, okay? Oh my gosh, look over there, what's that? <laughs> I got you. Just relax, okay? You just relax, okay? <laughs> Okay, we're gonna put a shot in you, okay? It's gonna be a little shot, okay? Got it, okay, breathe, okay? <laughs> He's known as Nurse Blake to his four million followers on social media. He's a comedian, nurse, and an advocate. He's currently on tour in a comedy show featuring stories drawn from his real life as a nurse. He's in town to perform at Chicago Theater this weekend. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks so much for having me. Well, we've all seen enough hospital dramas on TV to know weird things happen in the ER. Uh, what real things happen in your ER? It's it's even worse than the TV show. So think of the TV show, but on fire in a train wreck. <laughs> that's basically that's basically what it's like. I hope it's not about people making mistakes, and it's more about just the behind the scenes drama of things you overhear. Or is it oh, no, totally. No, yeah. no, no. It's totally all the drama between yeah. the doctors and the nurses and the respiratory therapists, you know, named Josh, Adam. <laughs> 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 yeah. is, is there a lot of uh, hospital romance between doctors and nurses or nurses and nurses, as the case may be? Oh, yeah, totally. If you're missing two nurses on a unit, it's like, where did they go? Are they in the dirty utility closet? Like, <laughs> <laughs> where did they go? Are you surprised that now, I'm assuming nursing came first? You're always obviously been a funny person, but this is this kind of snowballed by just posting these videos. And now you're doing comedy full time. Yeah, like I never got into nursing school to do comedy. I got into nursing school to like take blood pressures, you know, and, yeah. and help people, you know, at the hospital. But uh, I've been a nurse nine years now and about three or four years into my career, I was just really burnt out and stressed and anxious. So I came out with a few funny videos just like for relief for me to share online and they quickly went viral. And I realized that nurses don't just want to interact online. They want to interact in person. So I now I do these big shows. There's like 2,000 nurses in the crowd. They bring party buses out no. of all different ages. It, it, it's really cool to see. Is it because you're saying things that they've never been able to say out loud? I mean, it's a very specific. Is, is that what it is? How did you know? That's exactly <laughs> what it is. They're like, you get to say things that will get us fired. Which is why, like, no hospital, I guess, will hire me now because they just know I'll make fun of them. Right, uh -huh. right. And you, did you come up with a, a new uniform to replace scrubs? I did. I came out with a scrub romper. It was like this scrub onesie was actually my first viral video that I, went I, out. It. I think we have it queued up. Like, Do we let's have take that? a look. Let's see. Hold on. Are you tired of wearing two pieces of clothing <laughs> on every shift? Uh. If you think one piece, fashionable scrubs just don't exist, you're in luck. Introducing the Scrub Romper, the healthcare onesie that everybody's talking about. That was it, the viral video. Oh, this is what launched you, huh? Oh my God, that came out in like 2017. Like no. six years ago. That's insane. Oh my God. So you're pre pandemic. Yeah. You have had, so uh, this has been going on a long time now. You Is it your mom that's a nurse? So it's my dad. Your he's dad. a respiratory therapist. So he's worked nights for over 30 years. Um, and shout out to any of the kids out there whose parents work nights. My heart goes out to you because those parents are never in a good mood when they get home from work in the morning or when you accidentally wake them up because the TV's too loud. Uh, yeah. And then my mom, she's in medical device sales. All right, so your dad's been doing this for 30 years and you go to him and say, Dad, I'm burned out after eight years. What did he say to you? <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he's like, you should get out now. Just work at Starbucks. Yeah. <laughs> work at Starbucks. And so what kind of stuff will people see? Chicago Theater is a big venue. You got a lot of nurses in there. So what are, so, what are you, people gonna do? You're just telling stories? Well, I have to say, if there's an emergency the night of my show, have the ambulance just drop you <laughs> off at the Chicago <laughs> Theater, because that's where all the healthcare workers are going to be. Right. Right, let's, play no, one more, let's play one more clip. Yeah, yeah. You got it. Are you tired? Oh, that's yeah, not the right clip. That's the same one we just ran. <laughs> Here it is. 
We could give them to the patients. I just filled one of my syringes with water. We're gonna get some nurses. Hey, Becky! <laughs> New policy on the Foley catheter insertion. I know, I, I hear what you're saying, but there's a policy for that. No, no, like I get what you're saying, but is it within the new policy guidelines? Are you looking to join the False Prevention Committee? Hey! <laughs> Do you want to be a part of our unit practice council? We're looking for new members. You'd be awesome. <laughs> Hello? Are you interested in sepsis prevention? <laughs> you should join our committee. Oh boy. <laughs> Sorry, it's Blake from the unit practice This is an every cat, isn't that the truth? Minutes. There's one type for every, yeah. and this is every business. Yes, exactly. Oh my God, so all, do you do, like tell, I think we were, you were telling us what you do on stage that people will see. Yeah, it's a mix of like stand up and a one man show and audio and visual and video elements. Uh, and it's about my life. It's not just about nursing. So you don't have to be a nurse or a healthcare worker to come. Um, and if you're not, great, because then I could just pick on you the whole night. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's great stuff. The videos are great. You can see Blake uh, October 29th at the Chicago Theater. Go to chicago-theater.com or nurseblake.com. And it's a great follow on social media. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Thanks Chicago. Blake.